Here are 10 of the absolute stupidest skateboard tricks. And a quick disclaimer before I get into this, some of these tricks, I absolutely have no idea what the name is or if they even have names, so I kind of just made them up. But if you happen to know any of the actual names for these tricks, please comment below and let me know. For trick number one, we have the Gorilla Grip. So before there were ollies, we had this dirty little trick. Back in the day, this was pretty much the only way to get your board off the ground without grabbing it with your hands. Basically, this trick just consists of taking your shoes off. And back in the day, I'm pretty sure they didn't wear socks, but I'll spare you having to look at my feet. Anyway, once you're shoeless, you stand with your feet out towards the nose and the tail, and you turn your toes outward, and then you curl your toes around, grabbing the edges of your board, kind of like the way that you'd imagine some dirty gorilla would do. And then once you have a good grip, you simply jump up and let the board rise up with you. I'm not really sure why anyone would want to learn this these days, especially when there are so much better ways of getting your board up off the ground, which is why it's on this list. For trick number two, we have the monster walk. What better way to impress your friends than walking around on your board like an idiot? Now, it's probably debatable if this one's even considered a real trick, but it has a real name, so it goes on the list. For this trick, you spread your feet out so one is up by the nose and one's down by the tail, and then you get comfortable lifting one side of your board up and then the other. And once you're comfortable, you can go backwards or forwards or fast or slow, and either way, you're probably gonna look stupid. For stupid trick number three, we have the coconut wheelie. And a quick side note, there are actually a couple ways of doing this that are pretty cool. There's the freestyle way where you actually get up into a rail stand and you're sliding sideways, kind of like a primo, but your wheels are actually rolling. And then there's the other way, which Richie Jackson does, where he actually balances up on the sides of the wheels. Well, this is kind of like a poor man's version of that second one. Basically, you just roll on flat, shift all your weight forward towards your toes, and lift up on two wheels. On flat ground, it's pretty much completely useless because you just end up turning in a big circle, and you really can't do much in or out of it. You might get away with saying that this one's practical for really tight turns, but really, who's gonna try and get up on two wheels when they're turning? But if you really wanna learn this one, all you have to do is practice while standing still, and just slowly lean your weight forwards towards your toes until the heel side of your board comes up. This trick is really good if you enjoy getting wheel bite and hitting your toes on the ground. So just be careful not to do this stupid trick while going too fast. For trick number four, we have the bunny hop. Now I'm not sure why anyone would ever want to do this because it looks stupid and it feels stupid. But basically it's a little ollie type thing where you're standing with both feet on the tail and then you lift up the front of the board with your hands and jump. If you really want to do this, all you have to do is practice while standing with both your feet towards the tail, and then you bend over and grab either side of the board with your hands, and then you start to lift up with your hands first, and then jump off your feet, kind of in that seesaw motion of an ollie. And the great thing about this one is, if your timing is off, you can totally face plant. So yeah, if you want to look like some sort of rabbit trying to skateboard, then go ahead and try this one. For trick number five, we have something that I absolutely don't know the name of, so I'm gonna call it a forward-facing anti-casper. This trick is a completely impractical way of flipping your board over from a weird casper stall position. I'm not sure where I first saw this one, but I've been doing it ever since I started skating. For this one, you put the board down on top of your back foot, and in my case, it's actually on my front foot, because I guess I kind of do this one switch and then your other foot goes on top of the front truck facing forward. And then at the same time, you push off the ground, lift the board up, and once you're balanced, you kick the board from under the tail and let it flip over and try and land on it. If you're gonna practice this one, I would suggest trying to get into that position first and then hopping up a few times just to get the feeling for the balance. And also make sure your foot that's under the tail is facing straight and in the middle or else the board's just gonna flip over. So yeah, I'm really not sure why you'd want to learn this because there's not really a good way to get into it or out of it. For stupid trick number six, we have the moonwalk. Now I was on the fence whether or not the monster walk could be considered a trick, but there's no doubt with the moonwalk, this is definitely not a trick, it's just stupid. So if you're a big Michael Jackson fan and you're a skateboarder, you should probably learn this one. You basically just have the board with the tail down and nose up, and you have one foot on the tail and the other foot behind you and then you slowly walk it back, switching which foot stays on top of the board and which foot goes backwards. 
and I call this one a moonwalk because I think obviously if you get rid of the board, it's supposed to look like you're moonwalking. If you really want to show off in front of everyone, I would suggest going to a crowded skate park, going right in the middle of everyone, and then doing this across the entire skate park. And on the plus side, you can really wear down your tail for no good reason. For trick number seven, we have a coffin. Now you might ask, is laying down on your board and going down a hill really a trick? Well, if it's good enough to give you points in the skate games, then it's good enough for me. For this one, while you're riding, you kind of get down into a sitting position, grab onto the sides of your board and lean back. All you would need to know for this is how to get into that position without falling off your board so you can practice it while standing still. And then when you're comfortable with that, you can just try it while riding. And one thing I should emphasize is if you are going to try this and you get into that coffin position, don't put your fingers over your wheels. If you turn to the side and get wheel bite, this is the easiest way to lose all your fingers. But besides that, you can just jump on your board and lay down. For stupid trick number eight, we have the Ollie South. Now this one's probably the closest thing to a real trick I have on this list, but it's also on here for good reason. An Ollie South is basically just an Ollie where your back foot comes off the board. And the reason that this is stupid is because this is naturally what kind of happens when you just have bad timing with your Ollies. You can see how with my normal Ollies, because of my bad timing, my back foot comes off the board for a split second. Well, basically for an Ollie South, you just overemphasize this movement and pull your back foot up and off quicker than you should. So basically this is a stupid trick because most of the time it's an accident. For trick number nine, we have the Daffy. So yeah, once upon a time, people really thought tricks like this were cool. It's basically a one-footed manual and a one-footed nose manual at the same time on two different decks. All you're really doing for this one is putting your front foot on a deck in front of you, kind of on the tail but facing forward, and then doing the opposite by putting your other foot behind you and on the nose of the deck, and then you just hop up into a manual. And this one's actually a lot easier to balance than you would think. I don't really think there's any redeeming qualities to this one other than it may help you with your one-footed manuals, but really, those aren't really cool either. And finally, for stupid trick number 10, we have the one-foot pivot. Now I'll tell the truth, I actually think this one is kind of cool if done correctly and in the right circumstance. And all it is is just a front side pivot on your nose, but you're only using one foot. And the reason it's on this list is because you're really just taking something extremely easy, which is pivoting on the nose and adding something like taking your foot off to kind of give it some flair. But does that really make it that much cooler? If you want to learn this one, all you have to do is know how to pivot on your nose, except you're not going to want to do it when you lift your trucks up. You're going to want to slide them across the ground. So basically your front foot isn't up on the nose, it's more on the bolts. And then from there, everything else is the same as a pivot, except you're sliding your wheels on the ground and lifting your back foot up. So those were 10 of the stupidest tricks I could think of without resorting to the obvious ones like varial flips. But I'm really curious to hear what other kind of stupid tricks you would add to this list. Even if they're not real tricks, but just dumb things you can do on a board. So unlike my other videos, I don't really expect that you learned anything from this one. But I still would like to thank you for watching and for making fun of me. So go out and do something stupid and remember that as long as you're having fun, it doesn't matter what other people think. And besides that, you can like and subscribe if you want.